my name is Sarah Beth and I'm an Oklahoma 4-H STEMist. You are watching the Ag in the Classroom lesson, Hunger Fighter. Norman Borlaug once said, Civilization as it is known today could not have evolved, nor can it survive, without an adequate food supply. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Norman Borlaug and the Green Revolution and why it applies to concepts in our lives today. Norman Borlaug, who passed away in 2009, was a plant breeder. Borlaug was born in Iowa in 1914, and as he was growing up, the Dust Bowl hit the Midwestern United States. A lot of people blamed modern farming methods for the disaster, but Borlaug believed the opposite was true. He noticed that aspects of the Dust Bowl were not as bad in Iowa and other places where high yield agriculture techniques were being tried. It was at this point that he was going to dedicate his life's work to help people grow more food in places where crop failures were regular facts of life. This marked the beginning of the Green Revolution. For 50 years, he worked in developing nations to help people get more food from their land using high yield agriculture techniques. Before Borlaug began his work, the risk of mass starvation be, had been predicted in many parts of the world. But instead, thanks to Borlaug, food production has expanded faster than the human population in all parts of the world, except for the Sub-Saharan Africa. He received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970 for his efforts reversing food shortages in developing nations. Borlaug's leading research achievement was the development of dwarf spring wheat. He found many benefits of growing plants with shorter stalks. Nature, favored, nature favors genes for tall stalks because in nature, plants must compete for sunlight. Borlaug found that plants with stalks that were short and of equal length would receive equal amounts of sunlight and they would not have to compete with each other. Borlaug also developed cereal grains that were insensitive to the number of hours of light in the day and could therefore be grown in many climates. He particularly favored growing wheat in countries where starvation was a concern because wheat can grow in nearly all environments and is resistant to insects. I encourage you to do more research about the Green Revolution and world hunger. After you complete your research, brainstorm ways in which you can help fight against food insecurity and world hunger in your community. Thank you for learning more about Norman Borlaug and the Green Revolution with me. For more information, visit the Oklahoma Ag in the Classroom website or 4h.okstate.edu.